Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Broke Protocol. This is going to be a little bit different because what we're playing on today is actually a PvP server. Now, unfortunately, there are only like two people online right now, so server presence is not what you would call ideal. But, you know, we're, we're working with what we got. We're, we're killing people. Um... I'm not really sure what the leaderboard looks like anymore, but I used to be, as of like two days ago, pretty high on the leaderboard, like within the top 20 out of like, I don't know, maybe a hundred people who played on the server. So I guess that's not terrible, but, um, I will put the name of the server in the description. Uh, if you guys would like to play on it, that would be amazing because you know, we, we need more people on this server. PvP is not very much fun if there's only, you know, three people online. And the map's not huge, but it's large enough that, you know, it can feel very, very barren and empty if you do not have enough people online. Ooh, we might actually have four now. We've got four. Excellent. All right, yeah, but either way, I actually do have a couple stories from this server. Um, I got banned the first day I played, so I don't know if I'm going to slap that in the title or something. I might, I don't know, because that's just, you know, clickbait. Good clickbait, of course. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the reason why I was banned, because it wasn't, it wasn't like an actual ban. As you can see, I'm unbanned now. Actually, I think calling it an accidental ban isn't totally, like, telling the whole story. Because I don't think it was an accidental ban, but I don't think it was, like, um, totally intentional. Okay, so what Hazmat's trying to say here is that he has absolutely no idea what the ban was for or why he got banned. However, he is just gonna make a bunch of random guesses and try to sound like he knows what he's talking about. So basically what I think happened is you could see a lot of people on the server have riot police gear. Um, you don't spawn with that. You have to kill somebody who has it, grab their briefcase, and, you know, take the gear. As you can see, if you killed me, I have a chance to drop some of the gear. So that would be one way to actually get the gear. However, I don't think the guy was banning everybody with the gear just maybe some people i'm not really sure also i say the guy as if i know who i was actually banned by i don't i have no clue the key here is really the i have no clue part because i don't know why i was banned like i said earlier don't attack any of the admins or anything like that if you were thinking about doing that not sure why you would but i i don't know what the hell's going on everybody's forgiven y'all are cool I messaged, I want to say it was editing hazmat, please put it on the screen. I'm not sure who I messaged, but I messaged somebody and they managed to get me unbanned. So thank you to whomever that was. But yeah, so, you know, that was a very eventful first day, surprisingly eventful. I was actually planning on recording like immediately right then, but I played for around a half an hour, just kind of trying to get the feel for things. And I got banned like pretty quickly. And especially when you get banned from something like a broke protocol server where there isn't like a reason for the ban, there isn't like a super clear way to appeal the ban either unless they've left a link to their official discord in the actual name of the server. Which, by the way, if you do have an official discord for your server where somebody can file ban appeals, please put that in your title um, because that really does help out people who might have been accidentally banned, or even people who were justifiably banned, but still want to appeal anyway, because for some reason, people feel the need to do that. If you get, like, properly banned from a server, don't try to go appeal it and, like, BS your way through it. There's no point. But yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been doing, just goofing around on this server for the most part. Um, I think it's a North American server, actually, so that really does help me out quite a lot because I got that low ping. A lot of the other servers, like Point Life, when I play on that, I think I've got around 200 ping. Um, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, I'm not entirely sure. 
So that's good. And as I said earlier, I am going to leave a like, not, a, I keep saying link because instinctively I want to put a link in the description, but I can't, I'll leave the name of the server. And if you guys want to join, that'd be fantastic. Speaking of other things you can join, I know I'm just plugging everything in this video, but there is a link to the official hazmat discord in the description. If you want to join that, I'm thinking about actually hosting an Among Us event. So if you join the server, you'll get more information on that, hopefully around the time this video goes up to actually make joining the server worth it. I was also wondering what you guys would actually think of a like how to PVP video on Broke Protocol or like what weapons you should use for PVP on Broke Protocol as I think that would be a pretty interesting concept. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not super high on the list. I'm like right here. You got like uh, one, two, three, four, a uh, lot of people you know, a surprising number of people have more kills than me. I just, I don't think I'm logging on at peak times. I don't think I'm, you know, getting the most people I possibly can. And you know what? Missing every single shot is really not going to help me. This guy's got the strangest walk pattern, but I managed to drop him. See, people are just constantly looking outside and this guy just doesn't notice. He just, he does not know. I also don't entirely know what he's doing. Oh, no, I'm lagging. Why the hell am I lagging now? All right, excellent. So we're back on the server. Aside from a little bit of broke protocol lag, it's not a huge deal. That's okay. Am I just going to empty a full clip into this man and not hit any of it? Okay, there we go. I finally got him. Okay, this is one of the boys from Discord. Pretty sure this is the guy who actually got me unbanned on the server uh that's exilius i'm not sure if i'm saying his name right uh i guess he can correct me in the comments or not if he wants to but yeah so i think i'm gonna pretty much close out the video here i've said my piece you know I'm not gonna drag this out for no reason um but yeah big thanks to exilius exilius if uh yeah thanks to him for actually helping me get back on this server and but yeah, you know, like and subscribe because this guy's stupid and just has absolutely no spatial awareness. I'm one to talk as I just get absolutely railroaded out of nowhere. But, you know, that's okay. We're all hypocrites here on the Hazmat channel.